next, inshallah, five minutes, I'd like to just to let you know or to, to get an idea, inshallah, I'll be able to do that, inshallah. I said one time to somebody beside me, I'm, I'm enjoying the fasting. He said, go away. You're exaggerating. How could be tired and feeling hunger, jaw and all that? Sometimes, you know, at night you're tired, especially before we praying longer taraweeh and longer hours and fasting. How could you enjoy? So I told him, the enjoyment is not only for feeding your stomach with the meal or two meals. Enjoyment also could be happening or you could have it by you not having the meals or you postponing the meals. You're not actually going to be not having them at all. What you're doing, you're postponing, delaying the two meals later on. How could that be? The answer for that, because we, are, we need to feed something, we need some kind of food that we should have it in order to enjoy the fasting. How could that be? The answer for this, with this question. لماذا نصوم؟ What's your name? لماذا نصوم؟ لا لم أقول لمن نصوم لماذا نصوم؟ Why we fasting? To build taqwa. لماذا نصوم؟ If you answer this question, depends on your answer. I know that you're enjoying the fasting or not. So it's true. You said to have taqwa. And what else say in here? لماذا نصوم؟ This Arabic language. Some people know Arabic. لماذا؟ Why do we fast? To make healthy. Yeah. You're not going to enjoy the fasting. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. So your answer will tell me, what, you'll tell me, I know for sure that you are enjoying the fasting or not. Who is that? Yeah, this is a good answer. I think, you, I think you're going to have that enjoyment. You get closer to Allah. So, what's that? So, ibadah, yes. Worship is a must. So if we, we say that we fast, because everybody fasts, this is ada, this is habit. I know for sure you're not going to enjoy it. You're going to get tired. Oh, I wish. When are you going to be done? Oh, another 29 days. He's just fasted one day. So this is what exactly will be. But the one who fasted because ibadah, also it's a greater level, higher level than the ada, the habit. But it's not that when I'm going to let you enjoy that. We say it in Arabic, tataladdad bisiyam. Higher than that, it's true. This is all true. This is all what you said true, but that that we're not gonna make you tataladdad bisiyam. You're not gonna enjoy it. Rather than if it's longer hours, rather than before the people who are praying taraweeh, they stay sometimes four hours. You know. If your answer is لماذا نصوم نصوم حبا لله because we love Allah. Because you love Allah more than anything else. What if you delayed? I'm not saying you're not having the meals. You're delaying it. Two meals to, for Allah, for the sake of Allah, till the Maghrib, till the sunset. So what? If you love somebody, you're enjoying even if you are tired. If you're buying a present, gift somebody whom you love so much. Whoever that person. Your mom or somebody you love. Wallahi, maybe, you, 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 maybe some of you went through this. You're trying to search for that gift. You go from there, the bay, the, bay, the Eton, the Sears. You're going everywhere. You're tired. Actually, this is lunch. You're forgetting about lunch. You might be hungry just because you want to get that gift to, to the person that you love. you enjoying it. Actually, you want that person that you, whom you love. You actually did, did your best and you're tired and to, to get this gift. What about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It doesn't deserve for us to you know, fast for him or delay these two meals for him. Wallah, if we have that love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the true love in our heart, that we're feeding our heart, 
And this is the enjoyment, the enjoyment of the soul, not enjoyment of the badan, not enjoyment of the, the, the body. The body is, what's the body? Later on, you'll be in the, in, in the grave, right? You will be in the grave. The body is nothing. The soul is the matter. The soul is the one, it's the sa'ada. If you feed the soul with love of Allah, you enjoy what you're having, even the tiresome, even the hunger, you're enjoying it. And if the hunger piercing you, you you know what you should tell him? You tell the hunger, I'm doing this for Allah whom I love. Those who have iman, if you have truly iman, you love Allah more than anything else. What if you delaying two meals to the Maghrib? Subhanallah. Wallahi, we ransom Allah. We nafduhu bi arwahina, bi amwalina. Our, our wealth with our soul. If we have truly love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what makes you actually the siyam, so enjoyment. And you wish that there is another month. You wish that you could do even more. This is how you actually enjoy the siyam. It's true to have taqwa. It's true to have health. And definitely there is health. There is definitely health for the body, definitely. And this is proven. This is proven. And also there is ibadah. And this is what we actually make us closer to Allah. But you should have the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And how can you get the love of Allah? Number one, recite the Quran. Number two, remember Allah as much as you can. Always remember Allah. Number three, do the fara'id, taqarrub in Allah, to make you closer to Allah, and do as much as you can from the extra and voluntarily. And then, whenever anything ha- comes true that Allah loves and you love, prefer what Allah loves. Forget about yourself. Do what Allah loves first. Ithari mahabbat Allah, ala mahabbik. Wa in sa'ub al murtaqa. Wa in if it's if it's even difficult. And then remember. The ni'am Allah alayk. Look at the bounties of Allah that makes you thankful and tuhibbuhu akthar. Abu'u bin amatika alay. And qis hadi ni'am bi ibadatik. And compare this ni'am that you enjoy, what actually you doing for Allah? What are we doing for Allah? Wallahi nothing. Compare good ni'mah. This just gets one ni'mah. Only one ni'mah from all this bounty, you find that you are very negligible comparing with the ni'mah Allah. What are we doing for Allah? Nothing. And then think about Asma'ullah wa Sifat al Husna. And at the night, don't sleep except that you be with Allah. Khulwa, waqt al tajalli wa nuzul lillahi. You always feel that you are close to Allah, especially at the time with the nuzul at the last night or last third of the night, last before the fajr. Always make istighfar and tawbah. And always think, think that you are poor to Allah. And this is two pillars of ibadah. If you have not fulfilled these two pillars, hudu and poverty, that you are poor to Allah, you need Allah with all atom of your body, and you have nothing, and nothing, you are nothing except with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help, that this is the ibadah. And then avoid anything keeps you away from Allah. Since, get it away. I'm not going to get anything that makes my heart hard. And this is the greatest punishment that people may have. And they don't feel, and they think that they have not been punished, but they've been punished by having actually hard heart. They don't even have feeling. They don't even have tears when they recite the Quran. They don't feel if they're making sins. This is the greatest thing that keeps you away from Allah. Keep anything that disconnected you from Allah and be with the good people who had actually chosen and and يَنْتَقُونَ and, أَطَائِبُ and الْكَلَامِ كَمَا يُنْتَقَ أَطَائِبُ التَّمَرِ Be in company with good people. And good people, not, not necessarily a person, could be a book, could be anything that you actually benefit from. And that will make you, make you siyam. is so enjoyment. You love it, even if you feel hungry. And the last thing, whatever we have is dunya will go. But this prayer will last ever, ever and will benefit you till the day of judgment, till you get Jannah. But any dunya that make you busy with, that will go. Whatever dunya is, will go. قَلِيلُ الْآخِرَةِ خَيْرٌ مِّنْ كَثِيرُ الدُّنْيَا لِأَنَّ الدُّنْيَا تَفْنَى وَالْآخِرَةُ تَبْقَى جَزَاكُمُ اللَّهُ خَيْرُ وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ ع